Welcome back to the channel guys and happy new year. Being the 1st of January, I thought it would be a great time to actually kickstart these videos again because since uh, the Calpe training camp, everything's been a little bit crazy over here. Um, so I've moved house, um, renting somewhere in Bradford on Avon now, which is super exciting. I'll touch on that a little bit more um, further on in this video. And I'm training with an amazing group of people and things are going really, really well. So I wanna kickstart these videos again. Apologies to you guys for not uploading that much recently, but it's just been pretty hectic. There's not been anything super exciting going on. I'll show you my new training environment, everything that's going on. I should be getting a really cool pain cave or setting up a cool pain cave soon. So that'll be really exciting. Given that it's the 1st of January, I'm not normally one for New Year's resolutions, but I felt like I needed one because I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon a little bit here. So going forward, I'm gonna go back to one video a week. I'll be doing more reels on Instagram. So maybe a reel, two reels a week and a post a week. That is my promise to you. I want you guys to hold me accountable uh, because I think I need it. <laughs> but it's gonna be super, super exciting because I've got a lot coming up and it's gonna be great. This time of year generally is all about training. There's not really any races coming up. Given that I'm in the UK, uh, the weather is subpar, that's for sure. I think it's rained every single day since I've been back from Calpe, so that's not been massively enjoyable. So fingers crossed we can try and get away to Lanza or somewhere similar for a bit of a training camp, which would be amazing. We'll get some footage for that. But even though I'm in the dark and dreary UK, things are super exciting because, like I said, I've got this new training setup. I am part of this new training squad that we're setting up. It's very small. It's in Bradford Avon, but it's full of some of the best triathletes in the world. It's amazing that this small village in Wiltshire, in the southwest of the UK, is home to some of the best athletes in the world. You've got people like, obviously myself, <laughs> big dog. <laughs> I might edit that bit out. Uh, you've got people like Leon Chevalier, Susie Cheatham, uh, Will Crudge, Freddie Webb. Um, we've got Fenella Langbridge lives just up the road. We've got other people, big shout out to Max Hazel. <laughs> we've got some of the best athletes in the world here, which is really cool. And so we've got our own little training squad. We've got some lanes at Bath Uni Pool. We're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing a lot more training with that group of people. I'm also gonna be getting involved with the run club at Bath Uni. We're gonna do track sessions, tempo sessions, all of this stuff. I figured that to take my training and racing to that next level, I need to do something completely different. So I'm surrounding myself with uber successful people. And you know that saying, like success breeds success. And so I'm hoping that I surround myself by these, around these people that are far better than me. And it's just gonna raise my level. It's gonna raise my level in the training, but also in the racing as well. I mean, being around people like Leon and stuff like that, like it's just awesome because you get inspiration from them. You see what they're doing. You implement it into the stuff that you're doing and you just become better. It's happened in the past and fingers crossed it happens again. So that's that's really, really cool. And I'm super excited to include other people in, in these videos as well and kind of uh, fingers crossed they'll be interested in sharing stuff that they're doing with you guys. So that'll be super exciting. Um, and as you can tell, I just can't wait to get going with it. Now, we should probably talk about racing for 2024. I know it's the 1st of January, plenty of time until racing, but it's something that we should consider. Now, the thing is with long course racing, there are so many options now. It's crazy. I've obviously got PTO races, not quite available to me yet because I'm not currently ranked well enough in the world to actually have those races available. However, I do have to say, currently ranked 101, <laughs> which my goal for last season was to get in the top 100. But I will say, technically, I am within the top 100 because Jan and Seb are retiring. So that kind of then bumps me further down. So. Technically I'm in, but technically I'm not. But anyway, that's pretty cool to see. So we get into the top 100 and the big goal for this year is to just get that world ranking as low as we possibly can. And I genuinely feel like I can get close to 50 this year. Like I genuinely, like if I have a great season that I think I'm capable of, I, it could happen. Like it genuinely, genuinely it could. And so I'm super excited for racing this year. I'm going to be a little bit more tactical this year and pick races that are actually gonna suit me. In the past, I've kind of just willy-nilly gone, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that. But I've never thought about the style of racing, and my style of racing personally. Now, I think you do have to, in some sense, experiment a little bit and find what works best for you. Now I've done that experimenting phase, I know what works best for me. So for example, I'm never gonna go back to Marbella, not because it wasn't a cool race, but because 
it's 1400 meters of climbing. I'm not a climber. There's, there's, I'm just already starting on the back foot. So it's things like that I'm considering for this year. I have to say, I'm not gonna get involved with the Pro Series for the first race of the season. That might be a bit of a shock. You've got Ironman Texas or Ironman South Africa. I'm gonna go for Ironman South Africa purely because I think the course is gonna suit me better. I think more people will go to Texas because it's part of the Pro Series. So I think there's more opportunity for me at South Africa. So that's my idea. First race of the season, hopefully get a little warm up race before that. South Africa, I wanna do Challenge Champs, qualify for that, really cool race. I wanna do 70.3 Belgium, that was a really cool race. Had a great race there, that was really good fun. Um, Challenge Roth, really wanna do Challenge Roth. I think that course is gonna suit me well and I think obviously you're up against some of the best athletes in the world there. Uh, if Challenge London has a pro field, I don't even know if it does, but if it does, I'll be there because I was really gutted and missed out on it last year and 70.3 Worlds in December. I was very close to saying I don't want to go to the Worlds. Sounds a bit silly, but it's such a long way to go. Like going to New Zealand in December is like, phew, that's expensive. Um, but after talking to some people, you qualify for the Worlds. Like, and I looked at, the, well, the idea of the course could really suit me. They haven't released the course yet, but I think it will really suit me. And so I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I've got a little bit of time to save up some money, get me some flights and accommodation, and that'll be really cool. So I've got two big championship races there, Challenge Champs and 70.3 Worlds, but I obviously, yeah, Challenge Roth, all these other races, gonna be really, really cool. Maybe do two slash three fulls in the year. I don't know if my body could do three, maybe do two, um, and then sprinkle a few 70.3s in there as well, but I'm just gonna be more tactical with all of the racing that I'm doing this year. Now for this season, I am keeping the same bike, the Argon. However, I may change a few things with the setup. And this year, I really just want to fully focus on optimizing every single bit of swim, bike and run to make sure there's no excuses and I can go as fast as I possibly can. So there may be a few changes to the um, equipment that I'm using and I will obviously document that in these videos. Now, if there are other races out there that you think I should consider that I haven't talked about, drop them in the comment section below because I am interested, you know? I'm obviously, luckily, being a pro, you don't have to enter these races really soon before the race. You can enter them quite last minute. So if there are other races that I have forgotten or that you think that I should be considering, please do drop them in the comment section below. I'm always interested. Um, but that's kind of the main list now. And uh, I may add to that. I may take out a few, I don't know, but that's kind of the goals. And I'm just really excited to get the fitness back where it needs to be. I'm feeling good right now. Um, my environment right now is great. I'm just surrounding myself with successful people, like I said. And you know, you, you become a product of the closest people around you. You surround yourself by successful people um, and high, high performing people, you will become like them, which is super, super exciting. Can't wait to show you guys the whole setup that I've got here. Um, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit basic, but while I'm renting, I'm not willing to fork out any more than I need to. <laughs> so it does look like an old person's house, but as long as it's practical, it does the job. So that's the end of a little update from me, guys. I really wish you all the best in 2024. And yeah, we're going places this year. So keep an eye on the channel and I'll see you in the next one.